did I ever tell you about Serial Time? No. Yo, Serial Time is like my new favorite YouTube channel. Oh, snap. People on the inter internet, if you haven't watched videos from Serial Time, go watch it. It's this guy, his name is Gabe, and he has the most like B-flat delivery of like, he's, he's clearly a serial enthusiast, and he's a perfectly capable YouTuber, but he's not someone who's like a gregarious personality. Okay. But he just loves talking about cereals, and God, I have not eaten cereal. Before watching Serial Time, I had not eaten cereal. Ooh, pony. Um, oh, right. I have, okay, so we'll re intro that episode so we can make that a better surprise. <laughs> um, this episode may have to be edited. I'll tell, oh, you, when it, I'll tell you when it actually starts. Uh, but keep saying stuff anyway. So, Why not? So, so Serial Time... Uh, Serial Time's awesome because he talks about cereals, and I did not want... I had not eaten cereal in, like, years before I watched Serial Time, and I just went out and bought, like, maple Cheerios because he talked about them and just made them sound so appetizing. And, um... Why was I talking about Serial Time? There was something uh, that was... Uh... Oh, because the other thing sounded like Lucky Charms. Oh, yeah. And he always refers to marshmallows in cereal as marbits. Mm. Which is short for marshmallow bits. Right. But it's hilarious because now... And, like... He's he's just adamant about it. So whenever I see marsh like you know you'll see like booberry in the stores. It's like now with new marshmallows. It's like it's not and, marshmallows. And, and it's you're, marbits. You're, damn and it! You insist on it now. I yeah. I am excellent. I am a single issue voter when it comes to cereals, mm -hmm. and my issue is marbits. So it's not labeled as marbits. Correct. Very fun. Yeah. So all right. What a fun banter. Too bad none of that's gonna get used. Um, I will find a way to throw it in there. Hello. Welcome back to Raspberry Plays. We're playing Terraria. A great game. If you want all the hot takes, uh, they kind of are used, just, you know, rewind, watch the last episode, you know, just go back. Uh, we're going to build ourselves a little house. Or watch the bit before this episode where I talk about Serial Time, because mm. that YouTube channel, it's great. If you're not watching it, you should be watching it right now. And yes, wait, no, even if you're watching, watching this. No, hang on, but they have to watch this. <laughs> no, to see. they need to see Serial oh, okay. Time. Okay, well, well, come back though because we need the you know the, YouTube the views ad and the money. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah you know. Um, and also, as long as we're shilling, buy our CDs. Hey, and get our shirts get our and stuff. merch. <laughs> Stream us on Spotify. Get, put get. us on mute. Play us. Put us. You know, go to bed and put Raspberry Pi on repeat. Yeah. Uh, and we'll let you know the the pennies on pennies. Uh, will slowly. But surely rack uh, themselves up, and then we will have enough to uh, to buy uh, to buy a cheeseburger. Oh yeah, from Murs. From Murs. <laughs> Throw back to Murs. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there are no free smiles in this game, thus uh, invalidating this whole uh, series. Six out of um, ten, no I'm free smiles. Gonna, I can't get murdered by this. Slime. Too That's much water. Um, Did you ever cool. see that bit from like IGN? Where it was, I think there were there was an infamous review for Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire, mm -hmm. where they gave it like a seven out of ten because they were going, yeah, too much water. <laughs> like seriously, which which like yeah, that's fun. that perfectly valid criticism. There is a lot of water in that game, but also, I just think it's hilarious that yeah, it's a Pokemon game and it kind of redefined what Pokemon games could be for the next gen of handhelds. Yeah, seven out of ten, too much water. Yeah, not great. Um. And two out of five stars. The bar had a door that said push, but you actually had to pull it to open it. Didn't like it. That Didn't just like it. ruined the experience. Um, so, you know, what I will tell you, though. Oh, yeah, um, sorry. Uh, aside, no, that's okay. Uh, I, that was just enough filler time to get ready for. Uh, so I did grab some other items that weren't just, like, you know, all the necessary starter stuff just so we can get this ball rolling. Because no one wants to see, like, the slow grinding and all that. It gets pretty lame. Um, pretty repetitive. However, uh, I did get, so no free smiles in this game. However, we do have, um, and buckle up, rainbow blocks. Ooh. And, of course, yes. the ever-necessary disco ball. Hey. So we got that going. Sweet. So that'll be the beginning of, of what is the Raspberry Pi base. <laughs> that, uh, that's so on brand. Oh, yeah. No, I was I was preparing <laughs> for this. Uh, followed by, of course, a golden sofa. Of course. Um, and I did not grab the golden piano that I unlocked in the last world, uh, but also as well uh, a golden a golden chair. You know, a little, 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 little place to sit over here. Uh, you know, whenever you're in it, tired out from dancing, from thrown down too much. <laughs> Uh, you know how it goes sometimes. Well, it's better to throw down than throw up, I uh -huh. always say. Oh, always. And then, of course, a table if you gotta have, have yourself a little beverage or, or, or food. 
Um, perhaps, you know, a, a, a nice uh, Merv malt from Merv's. Going in some doors. Oh, yeah. Compelling, compelling entertainment. <laughs> Look at that. Look at him go. <laughs> Look, you think you can stop this man? You cannot stop this man. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Just, just, just run a little bit. Oh, yeah? Don't let those slimes in my house. Oh, yeah. I have an item where as, as, as I take off, I do uh, you get little little, uh, little smoke trails. And I can uh, and fly as well. I have rocket shoes. Neat. Very exciting news. As well as, and get ready for this, unicorn. <gasps> my trusty it. steed. <laughs> can the unicorn fly? Uh, he can uh, triple jump. Uh, and I rare. forgot there's this tr giant tree spawn, so we will actually... Uh, I'm not going to, but maybe at some point in the future, this uh, dance uh, club will migrate uh, to become part of this giant tree house that we could uh, possibly we make happen. Sexy, super sexy tree house dance parties. Oh, yes, absolutely. Did you ever fantasize about that when you were a kid, having like a kick-ass tree a house? Oh my god, absolutely. With like an elevator and... Uh-huh, I never even had like a real, actual tree house. I didn't either. Um, I had no trees adjacent uh, to me. Really? Uh, yeah, not really. Not even in like Missouri. Um, I mean, there were you know places to build them probably, but never in our yards on our property or anywhere convenient to do to do it. Hmm. Um, we yeah. Who's this douchebag? That's a little slime. Um, this is the first enemies you see. Uh, and then. Oh, who's the dude? Oh, oh, that is the the guide. He is the first NPC you get. As you build more rooms in your house, more NPCs can show up and sell you different items. This guy is uh, actually pretty useless, though. Oh. He just tell he again just like the loading screen can give you tips on what to do next, and can tell you how to make certain items. Uh ha! I was watching a couple of videos, you know, on on this game because I just recently got back into it, uh, and you know, some people go super in depth on it. Because um, there's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. But one guy was delivering it with a cadence that I, I could not get behind. Um, with every sentence being like with the same energy as, all right, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Right. Anyway, just... for this next part of the game, I'm going to go into the underworld. Oh, yeah. It's doing that with every single sentence. And I, God, I, I had to watch it because I needed I was like, how do I get good at this game? It's sort of the manic version of uh, the top 15s guy. Yeah. Number four. Number four. Okay, here's the thing. There was a string of videos of his. You can go up and look this up, kids. Uh, in like 2017, I think, after after Top 15 had like been discovered and became a meme, I guess, uh, where he speaks in a normal voice. I don't think he actually uninte... I think, I think that narration style is intentional. Number seven, like that thing. Yeah. Because there was another video of him where he's narrating, and it, you know, it's still not great, but it sounds, you know, like a person, and not like speech to text or something. So he's like, he's doing that on, he's deliberately. He's doing deliberately that. doing the uh, making that choice, making that choice, making that number four. Is it entirely? Po <laughs> Is the, it's like oh, creepiest footage ever captured on a drone, like. Shows footage at the ed of, edge of a forest. It's like, you know, is was this just a beetle that flew in front of the lens? Or is there a witch living in the woods plotting Armageddon? It's like, how did you even get to that conclusion? <laughs> <laughs> you're, ju you're jumping. No, you're not just jumping to conclusions. You're like Olympic you're, long you jumping. You got yourself a jetpack and are just taken right off yeah. there, bud. <laughs> you're flying to conclusions. You're going right for it. All right. Um, what could we do next? Very good question. Uh, oh, Nightfall is coming, so now we could go fight our first boss. Um, which usually, you know, if you don't have any items, uh, you couldn't fight this boss right away. But we sure can. So first of all, we're going to clear ourselves a tunnel in this tree. Oh, you can cut through the giant tree. Yeah. Um, oh, that's why we'll build a funky disco tree. Yeah, no, we could, we could make this a whole thing. Uh, I don't want to right now because I've got that little house. And we're going to go ahead and beat Skeletron and probably wrap this episode up. So we can get access to the dungeon. Number 12. Oh, we're actually going to take our unicorn trusty steed there, go across uh, the desert. Was it a unicorn? Or perhaps what? even a horse with a, sh uh, 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 a thing taped to its forehead. Like perhaps we'll never know. Like, comment, and subscribe for more mysterious <laughs> He's like, pony content. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be making that content. Well, he just sounds like it. I. <sighs> He's probably making millions. Probably. 
This video is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> One day we'll get there. Okay, <sighs> this is uh, what is known as the Crimson. And uh, th this game has a lot of like swappable uh, things. So sometimes you can build, build a world and you'll get uh, the Corruption. And sometimes you'll get the, cri the Crimson. But they're basically the same thing with like, you know, different items and stuff and drops and mobs and stuff. Same with a bunch of metals. There doesn't seem to be a reason for it. Hmm. Uh, because this is a small world, we will get we in between a bunch of different biomes. This is now the jungle biome, which has the underground jungle, which is a very important uh, setting that we'll probably, uh, if we continue this, we'll come into play later on. Come into play later on. Okay, I'm going to draw myself. <laughs> keep doing that. Uh, oh, it's a change in the music. Uh, yep, and now we're at back at the, uh, okay, I oh. went to the wrong side. <laughs> So we're going to take the magic mirror to go back and go the other way, where huh. the dungeon definitely is. Because uh, unlike, you know, Minecraft, uh, this world does have boundaries, and it doesn't just keep, you know, generating for basically infinity. Have you played Minecraft? I've never actually played it. It's an ama It's a great game. Oh, yeah. That, that's what I've heard. Like, I, I've, I've heard plenty of people speak highly of it, just that it's open world, and you can basically do whatever. Yeah. And no, and it's much more relaxing than this. That everybody thinks Steve is going to be the next DLC character for Smash. Ooh, that'd be a fun, that'd be spi a spicy take. I mean, if you wanted to represent a big franchise, sure. Yeah, but they, and, it, and Minecraft is on the Switch. They uh, they don't seem to be doing that as much as people would think, though. Like crossovers? Here we go, they okay. Didn't, they didn't go for the super obvious stuff. Like, the fact that they picked Terry Bogart was kind of cool. Or, like, Joker from Persona 5. Yeah, like, okay. That's a, that's, a, that's a cool franchise, but it's not, like, the biggest franchise on the planet. They're not just going for low-hanging fruit. Yes. All right, you ready to defeat Skeletron? So here we are at the dungeon. I have no torches. I can't light anything up. If you can't see, that's really on me. Um, so what would happen is if we tried to go down this dungeon, um, if we got past a certain level, a giant skeleton would just immediately kill us. Um, unless we talk to this old guy who uh, also ends up moving in afterwards. Uh, let me just get back up here. Uh-huh. To feed my master, and I'll grant you passage in the dungeon. You got it, dude. Okay. Oh, that's now you fight fighting. a guy. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna hopefully not die, but I have uh, just a, a weapon that you get from uh, hard mode, which after you beat the boss, the Wall of Flesh, who you fight in, in hell, uh, you are you, the, uh, the game gets harder and you get better items and things to get. But I'm using those items right now on a very early uh, stage uh, boss. So it's, this is basically cheating. He looks a lot like, you know those like, Stickies that you can put in your window oh, I'm around you, I'm Halloween. I'm gonna let you time. get that in before I did delete. The, you know, just get rid of that image. So yeah, say your thing about what it looks like. Oh, he looks like. Uh, before he, I kill it. He looks like those stickies that you put in your window during during Halloween or something. You can just kill him. It's fine. All oh, right. Uh, during Halloween, or something. Just because his range of motion is very limited. Oh, it's a single face. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is Skeletron defeated. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe for more <laughs> good content like this. And we're back to the disco house. Oh, yeah. We're do, gonna, do, we're do, gonna, do, do, do. We're going to end the house. Do a little dance. Yeah. Dance and party like you mean it. On a multicolor phone. That's do do. Wicked. All Very right. cool. All right. See you next time on Raspberry Play. Bye. Was it a manatee? <laughs> or is it entirely possible that I've been on drugs and can't distinguish reality <laughs> from fantasy? Wicked. Perhaps we'll never know.